Hey everyone, good morning. It is Saturday around 10.50 a.m. I woke up pretty early this morning and I had a couple of phone calls with some friends and then I also put my laundry in so it's been pretty productive so far. I thought I would just film today because I think I'm gonna go around Seattle a little bit and I just want to record it for even my own sake. I think I'm gonna try this restaurant called Doe Zone today. Um, and I don't think I've ever been to like a sit-down restaurant by myself, so this will be an interesting experience. I heard that it's definitely something that you want to try and do at least once um, because it's good to treat yourself and it's good to learn how to be alone. So I think I'm going to do that and I'm also just like editing and I have little bits and bobs of things that I want to do today. So I'll probably just bring you along and so I'm going to edit this skateboard video which will be up before this one where I build my skateboard. Um, yeah. Hey guys, it's a little bit later than that last clip. I realized that I also forgot to mention that there are some old clips that I wanted to put in of kind of the past couple of weeks of me like cooking and stuff. And so I thought I'd just throw them in just for my own memory of like what I cooked. I don't know. Um, I love watching like food vlogs, I think. So I'm like, let me put that in. Uh, and another thing, okay, well, I'll put those clips in first here. Guys, guess what? My switch, it came in so I am gonna go walk to the Amazon like locker right nearby me and I'm gonna go pick it up and then I'm gonna bring it back. I'm so excited. show you my breakfast today i have this um oatmeal bananas a little bit of brown sugar and some cinnamon and then a little dollop of peanut butter honey peanut butter and it's so good i love this kind of breakfast i just made some homemade french fries i think they look pretty good put a little bit of cheese on them um yeah bon appetit I just got my things that I ordered from Amazon on like the grocery. I've never done this before. So I thought I could do a little unboxing. That was amazing. They delivered it right out to my front doorstep. I'm kind of nervous. I hope there's nothing broken in here. Only the essentials, you know. But yes, I did get a big box of famous Amos cookies because you know what? Sometimes, you girl, you need your sweet tooth. Holy smokes, and I got two things of sauce. I decided to get both like meat sauces because normally I don't have meat sauce at home, but I feel like it would be more filling this way and maybe, I don't know, it would just be better. More of a complete meal. Got some eggs in this bag. <gasps> Two of them are cracked. I don't know if you can see that. Let's see. I'm gonna take care of that right now. Okay, actually only one of them was cracked. Thank goodness. When I start to get really into like coding and stuff, I'm gonna be tired, so I might want some coffee. Yeah, I'm gonna go wash this off. And last but not least, I got some chicken. I actually do have another thing of groceries coming tonight between 7 and 9 p.m. So there will be a part two right here. Okay, round two of groceries. They came in better packaging this time. Ooh, some tomato, some cabbage, got some tortillas for some tacos, two things of cheese, gouda and cheddar. Got my bread, touch of honey, organic almond milk, six bananas, a mango, and two bags of this blueberry trail mix. Oh, okay, I'm trying this new pasta. Pipe regate. Also got some linguine. 
got some taco sauce, but I think I'm going to eat this with chicken. I got three apples. And tikka masala sauce. I'm so excited. All right, so that's everything that I got from Whole Foods for my groceries for probably the next two weeks. Um, that was a lot of food and I don't think I'm gonna be able to finish all of it. So like in a week um, and I'm gonna make it last as long as possible. I made some more stir fry noodles and I'm currently watching Michelle Choi on YouTube and I think that today my tables have come in on Amazon. So I'm gonna go downstairs and get those and probably set them up on the ground because it'll be nice to have some tables. They're like cute little nesting ones. All right, so now we're back to present tense. So I just got this 23andMe kit and I am going to try it out now. And then I'm gonna try and mail it out, mail it out today. Um, so yeah, let's do this now. So I got my little blade. I've actually already done one of these DNA tests, but I kind of want to do another one because I was curious as to, you know, you never know what could happen. I, I'm adopted for those of you who don't know, so I'm like, oh, it'd be kind of cool to find someone related to me maybe. And I'm only in the ancestry one, so so I was thinking about doing this one so I'd be in their database as well. All right, so it looks like I have to register my kit. Okay, just accepted some terms of service. And then I have to fill the line. All right, so we're gonna do this. Oh my gosh, this is kind of hard to do, not gonna lie. Build to the line, closing the lid. Oh God, shake for five seconds and then seal it in the bag. Okay, so now I'm gonna go and get some lunch at this place called Doe Zone in the International District. And I think I'm gonna try and take the, what's it called? The streetcar. I've never taken a streetcar before, but they're really like historic here, I think in Seattle. So I'm gonna take it and yeah, I'll bring you guys along with. I ended up walking to Dozone and then I got a little counter to myself, ordered the Don Don Mian and their Chi Pao, which is these like really nice crispy bao buns. Wow. <laughs> and then I went to this cool bookstore that had a ton of just like amazing things in it. It was Japanese, so there are a lot of stuffed animals and like how to learn Japanese books, Japanese comics, and it was just so big and it was so cool to see just everything that they had. They had a lot of Gudetama things and they had a whole section for Studio Ghibli merch and that was just like beautiful to see. They also had Anne of Green Gables translated into Chinese, which I thought was pretty interesting. And on my way home, I stopped and got an ube donut. It was delicious. Good afternoon, everyone. I woke up from a nap and I took off all my makeup. And now I think I'm gonna go work out because I need to move a little bit more. And I sweat kind of a lot when I was like hiking, or not hiking, but like walking back up from the International District. So I think I'm going to just work out a little bit and then shower and then I'll probably eat some dinner and maybe study Korean. I feel like it's been good studying Korean, but recently I've been feeling maybe overwhelmed because I've been putting myself through such like a rigorous schedule. Um, but I'm feeling good and I feel like after my workout I'll probably have like enough energy to get back into it. So I think that's the plan for tonight and yeah, oh I, and I didn't end up taking the streetcar because I was just like, eh, I'll just walk. Um, and it didn't take that long anyway. So maybe I'll take the streetcar a different day when I'm going like farther up north, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna work out now and I'll see you guys after I'm done and showered. Look at that amazing stocked pantry. So I'm back from um, my workout and I think I'm gonna cook some dinner now. I'm gonna make some spaghetti and I also am going to 
an onion. This is getting moldy, but I'm wondering if I can save the part that's not. I don't know, we'll see. And then I'm gonna add some of the sauce to the spaghetti as well. So that's what I'm gonna have for dinner. And the cucumber on the side. Okay, so I basically made pasta sauce with chicken and spinach and onions. And then I have pasta here and leftover pasta here that I'll eat tomorrow for lunch or maybe dinner. So I'm gonna put this on top now and I'm so excited. It looks so good.